Tay and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm just showing you basically how I do a basic gel manicure on natural nails. So right here I'm just pushing back his cuticles. Yes he boys get manicures too. Um, so yeah I forgot what I was saying. Oh, I'm pushing back his cuticles just to prepare the nails. So the reason why you want to push back the cuticles is because you want to make sure you are having enough nail surface and that you are getting rid of dead skin. Okay, so if you notice that your client's cuticle is thick and hard to push back, don't hurt them basically um, and you can always use a cuticle softener if it's really thick or you can use the diamond drill bit um, and fine and that will help push back the cuticles without hurting your client so the next step is to buff the surface of the nails with a sanding band and this will help your products adhere to your nail bed and actually be able to be worn for about 21 days because if you leave natural oils on the nails the products will basically just slide off and it won't last crusty but you know when you're sick that's when you got the most time but if you see me filing um extra it's because he had a little bit of acrylic on his nails and it really wasn't worth the time to sit there and soak it off where as I can just file it off with a sanding band and the sanding band is a 180 grit and it's not going to damage the nails so whatever I'm filing um, is just basically scratching the surface of the nails and it's just going to basically buff off the old acrylic before I get to the natural nail plate
Okay, so right here I switched out my nail bits and this is the diamond um, drill bit in fine, I believe. Well, extra fine, I don't know. All I know is the diamond nail bit will get rid of the dead skin without damaging the surface of the nails. Okay, so the next step in preparing the nails is going to be filing and shaping the nails. So he's a hairstylist and he braids hair, so he wanted to make sure to keep them as short as possible. So the important thing with filing natural nails is that you want to make sure that you're going from the side wall to the center to the opposite side wall to the center again because if you do too much filing back and forth you could weaken the nail and then that could result into breaking the nail and you don't want to break any nails here.
Okay, so now that all the preparation is done, I am going to spray his nose with alcohol. And the reason why I do so is because I don't have time for people to be getting up and down, up and down. So this is a time-saving trick to spray the nails in with alcohol. And this will get rid of all the nail dust and make sure that the product will stick onto the nail. So here's a trick that you can steal or use if you are noticing that your gel polish applications on natural nails are chipping or not lasting as long. So before I do my base coat, I apply a nail dehydrator. So the dehydrator is mainly used when you do acrylic nails, but I feel like when I use this on gel polish sets or natural nails, they don't chip at all. So yeah, your girl gotcha. This step right here is very important because you want to make sure that you are applying a base coat on the nails to make sure that you are basically protecting the nails. So the base coat protects the nails from stains, from polishes, and also it helps the main color stick on to the nail and last. So right here I'm using the D&D base coat and with any base coat, um, you want to make sure that you're using a top coat within the same family or the same brand just because it's meant to go together. So I'll be using d, &D base coat, top coat, and also the main color that I'll be using will be a d, &D polish as well. I believe it's called Whipped Papaya. So with base coat, you only need one coat and after that you just put it inside your lamp and cure it for about 30 to 60 seconds depending on what kind of lamp that you're using. And then after that you just go in with your gel polish and do two to three coats depending on how your client likes it or how opaque you want the color to look. And I always use a dampen dish with some acetone just to clean up the side walls just because I don't want it to be too messy looking.
basically after you prep the nails, you buff the nails, you base coat the nails, you apply your two to three coats of gel polish, you have to top coat. So I'm using the same brand DNT top coat and this has a sticky layer to it at the top. So after you cure your each layer after 30 to 60 seconds, you want to make sure that you wipe off the tops with alcohol. edges from like any extra uh, top coat or gel coat that seeped and I just like to have a try to have a perfect shape or a smooth nail you don't want your clients going home having rough edges and they're scraping their clothing or their hair or whatever and so after I do my top coats I like to give my clients a little hand massage so who doesn't love a hand massage and plus you don't want to have crusty dusty looking hands on your pictures you want everything to look beautiful so after the lotion I just apply a little bit of cuticle oil and then that's it it's a wrap basic gel manicure they're so simple and easy definitely if you're starting off with doing nails to try to do as many gel polishes as possible because that's how you get um, more practice with applying polish and then also learning how to prepare the nails for the next step which is like acrylics um yeah so i'll be back with more videos so if you have any questions you can always comment in the comment section and i'll try to get back as soon and fast as possible and you can also follow me on Instagram at TYH Beauty. And if you really want to see the messy, messy part of me, you can follow me on my other Instagram at just underscore call me tight.